What's up YouTube? Draw some of the Baytown. Check it out right here. So what we have is a package from Control Freak. Now I've been telling y'all about this a little bit here and there. Let's see if I can get this with one hand. Nope, we're going to have to cut this. Alright, so I have it ripped open. Let's go ahead and dump the contents out. All right, so we have a Control Freak sticker. All right, let's try that again after that rude interruption. So we've got a sticker here from Control Freak. So, okay. So here we are. Now this camera just don't want to focus. Anyways, this is what we have. The snipers. So, as y'all know, I have the phantoms that I've been using. I don't like them. I'm not even going to lie. They're just not my style. Now, they might be someone else's style. Let me go ahead and get this open here. Alright, so here's a good look at them. As you can tell. See how tall they are. Now, my other ones, the phantoms, actually, these look... These are shorter than the Phantoms. I'm just not too keen on the the dome. I don't really like domed. But it's all good. Hey, I might love them. Now the Phantoms, I'm going to go ahead and let you all know. I am giving those away for free. Okay. Wow. Um, I've had a lot going on. But... We're going to go ahead and get into this for y'all. Now, I'm going to forewarn you. It's not going to be an awesome sniper gameplay for y'all, but I am enjoying the Control Freak snipers. They're actually pretty good, believe it or not. I was I was a little skeptical, you know, because I didn't like the Pharaohs. The, the Pharaohs... The enemy, close and destroy. I said Pharaohs. My bad. I'm thinking of the SMG. I mean Phantoms. I'm thinking of the Phantoms now. Okay, that's what we're doing. <laughs> Sorry, guys. So, Phantoms. And speaking of Phantoms, we're just going to go ahead and skip right into it. We're going to go ahead and do a giveaway for those Phantoms, guys. I don't... I don't really like them. And... Mainly, it's, I, I guess, because they're there for, like, ARs and SMGs and stuff like that. I don't know. But I, I just don't like them. Now, when it comes to the snipers, I'm very comfortable comfortable with them. They, they feel really comfortable and normal. Now, I'm going to give you a little look at the Phantoms. So you can see what they look like. Now these phantoms are for the Xbox One and I will leave a link in the description below on how you can actually win these phantoms for free. There will be a brief description below and then also I'll leave a link within that description so y'all can go check it out. and. By the way, you don't have to be subscribed or anything like that in order to win it. I, I, I'm not doing that for for that reason. I, I don't want to try and do a giveaway in order for y'all to, you know, subscribe to me or anything like that. I'm just going to give them away because I want to. And honestly, I, I'm not going to use them. So, so why not just give them away? Now, yes, they are used, but they are not, like, used to the point to where you can actually tell that they've been used. I, I, I used them maybe a couple of times and I just didn't really like them. So let's go ahead and get into the Xbox One Control Freak snipers. I'm going to go ahead and let you take a look at those here now. So this is actually what the box looks like once you actually open it and everything that's the top of them 
and surprisingly for them being domed they're actually rather comfortable I really like them and then this is kind of like a side view of them on your controller you see how much added height it actually gives you now I'm not sure if they're actually shorter or taller than the the pharaohs I don't know how I got that I said pharaohs I mean phantoms sorry what is going on with me he, the, the internet's so bad I can't hit anybody but you know what it's okay you know I wanted to go ahead and get y'all out a video and try to get somebody some free control freaks now I already know there's gonna be some people that's going to hate on my video because I didn't get a crap ton of kills and the accuracy was not where it should be but you know what when when, when you're dealing with horrible internet and when you're lagging and and you just can't get on point and and also you're trying to get get used to something new on your controller you know it happens but I don't care I just wanted to get online and enjoy myself and believe it or not I, I was actually able to do that I don't know why I could not hit that guy I just could not hit him it's not a a horrible game but it's not one of my best games you know I've done way better but at the same time I'm also kinda of stressed for time I've got a lot of things going on and when I say stress for time what I'm talking about you know some of you know that you know I do have cancer and that I'm battling that and I have a lot of stuff going on with that right now so so I can't just put total focus on this game all the time I've got other things that I have to take care of on top of that I have to take care of my family as well but other than that everything went smoothly with the control freaks I like the way they feel they feel natural with the phantoms it, it, was, it was almost like they were awkward I I don't know when when I put the control freak sniper on my controller and I and I jumped into a game it was it was it was completely natural nothing felt weird or awkward about it at all and I actually used them with a red gun which I'll be uploading that here before too long and all these videos that I have here I actually recorded those within I think this week so so they're not like brand new I should have hit that guy but it's all good <laughs> there we go we finally get him with a hard scope but there's nothing wrong with that this guy trying to spawn camp hard scope though you know I, I want to talk a little bit about that you know a lot of people say well if you hard scope you're bad I'm telling you now guys if you hard scope you are not bad at the game do not let anybody tell you that if you snipe normal however you want to snipe is just fine if wow look at that lag if you hard scope someone and you you kill them then oh well maybe they should have been better at the game because here's here's my deal in my opinion I kind of feel like hard scoping takes a little bit more skill than quick scoping and and there's a reason why and we're not gonna get too out of hand with this cuz I don't want anyone's feelings getting hurt but look at it this way so when you're quick scoping and someone that's good at quick scoping they already know where their target is and how quick scoping works is basically is what you're doing is you're centering your target and then you're firing now some some games they have what's called drag scoping which you know basically you're not just right on your target so you kind of drag your scope over but but that whole entire time your field of view is open and 
you're you're more alert and you can you have a better chance of getting pop shots off and what pop shots are basically like say if you miss then you have a a better chance of getting getting that that follow-up shot or pop-up shot I should have landed that but I didn't now when it comes to hard scoping here's the deal when you're hard scoping you have and unless you're playing Call of Duty Ghost you have no peripheral so if someone's coming up to your right left or anything like that you have no idea because you are not able to see them so that makes you for a very easy target and on top of that when you're hard scoping unfortunately it does take time to take that kill because you're you're going to be focusing on center mass or a headshot quick scoping quick scoping is kind of like a just a basically like a quick shot you try to get as close as to the kill zone as possible and when I say kill zone like I'm talking center chest headshot things like that that's basically like the kill zone and you know for people that are pretty good at quick scoping they're able to hit those kill zones rather quickly now when it comes to hard scoping you have to sit there and you have to judge when your target is going to reach the area that it's going to be there and you have to be ahead of the target because when you're hard scoping you never want to be following a target you always want to lead your target and with quick scoping you don't have to do that you know with quick scoping you can just look at your target see that he's going left right or whatever and then aim in and shoot him but when you're hard scoping if he's going left or right you have to be able to determine that and determine it rather quickly because you don't want to be like okay he's going to go left and then he goes right and then you're hard scoping left so then you're going to try to have to follow him the whole time if that makes any sense so guess what that that makes it harder for you to get that kill that leaves you in a very bad position because someone could be coming up on you now in this game mode we're actually playing uplink and I don't know anything about uplink at all I, I I don't play uplink at all this is actually my first time playing uplink well this pretty much sums it up I hope y'all enjoy don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're new don't forget to leave a like on the video Baytown Cowboy 85 over and out.